to Westminster to speak to the Shadow Paymaster General, Jonathan Ashworth. Jonathan, a very good morning to you. Your good big morning. pitch today uh, to the public, but particularly to business, and the Iceland boss certainly seems convinced, is that Britain is an investment destination should Labour be in charge. Summarise the pitch for us. Absolutely. A Labour government led by Keir Starmer would work hand in hand with our business community because that's how you create good, well-paid jobs across the country. It's how you raise living standards, grow our economy and spread prosperity. And we're absolutely delighted today that a very significant business leader, Richard Walker, the head of Iceland Supermarkets, has switched his support from the Conservatives to Labour because of Keir Starmer. And he said that Keir Starmer has a vision and a plan and I think after 14 years of the Tories now, I think people do want change. I think people do want to turn the page. And I think this is yet another example of how people are moving away from a tired, divided Conservative government. Well, you obviously got a coup by getting Richard Walker and congratulations on that. But what are you actually specifically going to do for British businesses and foreign investors? Well, first of, well, first of all, you need economic stability. Economic stability has to be the foundation. And that is significant because we've not had that economic stability, have we? We had a Conservatives effectively pushing the economy off a cliff because of their irresponsible approach to the public finances. It led to turmoil on the money markets, a run on pension funds, and many people pay more on their mortgage as a consequence. Once you've got stability, that means that businesses can make long-term decisions about investment in the country. And if you're working hand-in-hand -hand with the business community, you, know, you have uh, events, you have your business council with them, for example. It means you can put this country on the long-term uh, footing. You have a long-term plan to raise growth in the economy, create jobs and therefore raise living standards. Away from uh, the economy, I'd love to ask you about your views on vapes and smoking because we're going to hear from the Prime Minister today. Uh, disposable vapes are going to be banned. Just a quick fire thing. Are you in support of banning disposable vapes? Yes. OK, and then smoking, I think, is a bigger question mark. So we potentially, in a world first, could make smoking illegal. Anyone from the age of 15 uh, and uh, younger will no longer be able to buy tobacco products. Is the Labour Party in support of a total smoking ban? We're in support of the proposals the government have put forward to gradually raise the age limit. Look, we know that smoking is a, a huge killer, you know, lung disease, cardiovascular disease, and actually the Conservatives have cut smoking cessation services quite brutally over uh, uh, the, the last uh, 14 years or so. So, look, we're in favour of that. We know the Conservatives have got a big problem. They're all divided. I think already Liz Truss has come out opposing it. So our offer to the Conservatives, our offer to Rishi Sunak is, we'll help you get this legislation through. Well, we will always put the national interest first. I know you're completely divided from top to bottom in the Conservative Party, but we believe we can get this legislation on the statute book because we do need to tackle smoking. OK, so the smoking ban is here to stay. Mr Ashworth, just a point about a story that broke earlier this morning. Kate Ossimore, the Labour MP, has had the whip withdrawn for equivocating Holocaust with the, uh, the war in Gaza. She called the war in Gaza a genocide. I mean, your, your reaction to her actually making that co comment in the first place, what is a Labour MP doing saying that? Well, she's now been suspended and there'll be an investigation. I think she has actually apologised, I think I saw as she well on, on Twitter, yes. but nonetheless, she's been, sus she's, she's been suspended. There'll be an investigation. Obviously, uh, you know, now there's an investigation, it's important that it's all looked in and that it's a fair process. So I won't prejudge that investigation, but I obviously disagree uh, strongly with the um, with the comments she made. Was this an anti-Semitic uh, right tweet? Was this an anti-Semitic message? Her saying that uh, there's there's a genocide going on in Gaza. I think we have to remember the millions of people, the millions of Jewish people and other uh, communities who lost their lives in the Holocaust. It's why we all signed the Holocaust book last week. It's why we all uh, paid our respects. Uh, in, the, in, a, in different ways, at appropriate different events in different parts of the country uh, on Holocaust Memorial Day. It's not appropriate to draw that comparison. Uh, it's right that she has uh, been suspended. There is an investigation, but I don't want to prejudge any investigation. OK, Jonathan. Um, final thing we want to ask you about is uh, your plans to tax 
private schools. We know that how you want to spend that money for all your policies that you've been uh, announcing. But uh, the I have got an investigation today. They've been speaking to heads of grammar schools and they've said, we are nervous and worried that there's a knock-on effect. If you taxing private schools, that means the sort of upper middle classes or the middle classes who then won't be able to afford private school will be getting tutors involved to make sure their children can get into the grammar schools. And that means the most disadvantaged children won't then get those places. Had you considered that as a knock-on impact of taxing private schools? Well, the issue is, of course, uh, private schools' fees have been rising, often higher than inflation. And we haven't seen that phenomena in, uh, in the way in which there's, is being described in the, um, in, the news, in the newspaper today. And look, you have got to make tough choices. The economy is in a mess because of what the Tories did to the public finances. And if you want to improve mental health support in state schools, in the schools that the majority of children go to in this country, and if you want to recruit more specialist teachers in the majority of schools that the majority of children go to, we are going to have to make those tough choices because the Conservatives have wrecked the economy. OK, well, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much.